Welcome back to our countdown of the top quarterbacks in Northwest College football history. We began with number 10 and Hall of Famer Neil Lomax of Portland State. At number 9, it was Bill Musgrave, the man who led the Oregon Ducks to consecutive bowl appearances for the first time in program history. Coming in at number 8, FSN's own Jason Gesser, who virtually rewrote the Washington State record book during his career on the Palouse. Number 7 in our countdown, one of only two Cougars to have his number retired, Jack Thompson, known to fans throughout the Northwest as the Throwing Samoan. Next, it was Oregon's Joey Harrington, the only quarterback in Pac-10 history to lead his team to three bowl wins. Number five, the man who never lost a game while playing on Motley, 1991 national champion, Billy Joe Hobart. Coming in at number four, Drew Bledsoe, Washington State's only number one NFL draft pick. At three, the only player to gain 300 yards passing and 200 yards rushing in a single game, Marcus Tuiasasopo. And number two on our list of the greatest quarterbacks in Northwest College football history, legendary former Cougar, Ryan Lee. Well, here's the trivia question we asked before the break, and the answer is Terry Baker. Not only did he finish highest in the Heisman voting, he actually won the Heisman back in 1962. He's number one on our countdown. Terry Baker is the only Beaver quarterback in our top 10 list. Baker became the first player from the West Coast to win the Heisman Trophy. To this day, Baker is still the only player from the Pacific Northwest to win the award. A two-sport All-American at Jefferson High School in Portland, Terry played multiple sports at Oregon State. In fact, he's the answer to another great trivia question. Who's the only person to win the Heisman Trophy and play in the Final Four? Well, Terry Baker, of course. Baker arrived in Corvallis on a basketball scholarship, but was convinced to play football as a sophomore in 1960. Terry Baker was actually in a, a changing time in football. He was coming in when the, they were leaving the single wing, and he was one of those first quarterbacks under center. The things that I like most and always have thought the most about, uh, about Terry Baker were his ability to understand football. He was a great athlete. Terry spent two seasons mastering the offense, and in 1962, he put it all together. Over the first six games, Baker's Beavers rolled over ranked opponents Stanford and West Virginia and earned their own national ranking with an 18-12 victory over Washington State in Pullman. But Terry saved the best for last. Against Colorado State, Baker accumulated a career-high 389 yards of total offense, rushing for one touchdown and passing for another. In the Beavers' annual showdown with the Ducks, Terry threw for two more touchdowns, leading the Beavers to a three-point win and a bowl bid. Baker led the NCAA in total offense as a senior. He was a consensus All-American and had already been awarded the Heisman Trophy when the Beavers met Villanova in the 1962 Liberty Bowl. In one of the most memorable moments in bowl game history, Terry took a first quarter snap from just beyond his own goal line, broke a tackle in the end zone, another at the 10, and raced down the left sideline for 99 yards and the game's only score. This is a guy who could run and throw the football. He called his own plays. He could do everything. The Heisman and Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year say it all about Terry Baker. He was number one.